Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. In line with the parliamentary best practices, precedents, and conventions, and pass on to the provisions of Taita Taveta County Assembly Standing Order Number 422C, relating to the sitting Order Number 7 statement, a member of the House can seek a statement requiring availability of information, clarification, or appearance on any substantive issue, circumstances, situations, and matters pertaining to the attention of the county governments, the national government, or any public entity where such mandates related to the management of service and leadership to the citizens and institutions as per the Constitution of Kenya 2010 and our current laws are concerned. Mr. Speaker, sir, poor quality services is a threat to the patients uh, safety since it's lowering the output and reputation of a hospital. In this regard, there has been extremely poor service delivery in the supposedly county referral hospital with doctors and medical staff laxity coupled with inadequate supply of drugs to poor preservation of the deceased in the mortuary. Mr. Speaker, sir, in view of the, f of the foregoing, I would like the chairperson of the Health and Sanitation Services Committee to furnish this house with the following information. One, why are dead bodies changing and decomposing while being preserved in the facilities mortuary? Number two, is there a backup generator in the facility? Three, why are patients being referred to private facilities for surgeries? Four, surgeries are done only once per week. And therefore, how many doctors are employed specifying the number of specialists of surgeons, uh, pa pediatricians, gynecologists, radiologists, orthopedic surgeons, anesthetists, and etc. Number five, patients with critical conditions are being transferred from the county referral hospital to Matate Subcounty Hospital. Why can't the ICU facility, uh, ICU facility in Motate Subcounty Hospital to be moved to County Referral Hospital? Number six, what is the CCM Department of Health and Sanitation Services doing to make sure service delivery to Mwanainchi is improved as patients are queuing for long and lives are being lost? Seven, what is the current status of uh, debt payment to KEMSA since the problem of lack of drugs and medical supplies is still the same? Provide statements of payments to KEMSA. And the last one, if you allow, Mr. Speaker, the status of NHIF patients who lack drugs upon diagnosis yet covered, are they reimbursed upon buying drugs? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. But before I sit again, Mr. Speaker, I have comments that I want to make before this House. I am of conscious mind that uh, this is an honorable House which deserves to be given the respect that it deserves. The status in Moy Hospital is disheartening, totally disheartening, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I have been observing on the dead bodies any time I attend burials in my ward. And uh, a body coming from Moyo, a dead body coming from Moyo Hospital literally changes the appearance. You might even think that uh, maybe this is not the right person that I knew when he or she was alive. But a body coming from Ikanga Hospital still remains the same. The face does not change, the appearance does not change. This is something which really scares me and I ask myself, really, we are not of the same in terms of um, our financial status and suppose I cannot afford to take my, my, my person to, to Ikanga, what will happen? And why are we having such kind of services? And yet, a uh, county referral hospital, which is Moi, is meant for each and everybody. Mr. Speaker. Honorable, I'm not a trip. Yes. Expunge the Kanga, replace it with a private hospital. Okay. Or private Much obliged, Mr. Speaker, and well guided.
Mr. Speaker, again, I've, I've, I've dealt with uh, different people who called me for assistance anytime they're in Moyo Hospital and they would need my intervention. I want to believe they call me because I am their MCA and they feel that they elected me and anytime they need services in this county government, I am in a better position to intervene and have them assisted. Why are we having uh, patients? Suppose someone doesn't know Mwishimwamwamidi, for instance. Suppose someone doesn't have the telephone number for Mwishimwa Lawrence Mzuga. Who is this person going to run to? And why must we have patients calling us for us to intervene and get services? It reaches a point, Mr. Speaker, that I will also want the CCM help to intervene. And I, I want to thank uh, Honorable Gifton Mkaya that any time I've reached out to him, he has never let me down. But suppose this person tries to reach out to me and he doesn't find me on phone. What would happen to this patient? The kind of laxity that is being demonstrated or displayed by the, 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 the attendants in Moy Hospital is really wanting. And uh, Mr. Speaker, I remember in the last regime, there were a lot of transfers. But this time round, as the chair of devolution and service delivery, I will not encourage a transfer of a, of a county government staff because we cannot transfer bad manners from point A to point B. And I want to believe when you, when you accept an offer, in this county government, you are accepting it because you have accepted to work in any kind of environment. But why are we having patients going to the hospital instead of getting help? They are coming out frustrated. And maybe there's a serious surgery. Mr. Speaker, I handled the alias Mwanguku from Manganga village. This man had been in my hospital for more than two years just to have his hip bone being repaired. And Mr. Speaker, he was taken left, right, and center in different, uh, in two private hospitals in this county. Were it not my intervention, Mr. Speaker, because the, the, the doctor who was attending him would always tell him that there are no facilities in my hospital. But I kept on asking the CCO then, why is a patient being referred from my hospital to a private hospital and being told that there are no sufficient equipments? Yet, every day we hear in the media that my hospital is well equipped. It is sufficient, it has professionals which can, which can work for our patients, but you refer a patient, and you know very well, in a private hospital, it comes with a very huge cost. That one also raised a lot of eyebrows with me, Mr. Speaker, and it's not interesting at all. I want to give a notice that if you're not comfortable working with this county government, please, Honor us, respect us, and look for an, uh, on a, uh, look for an exit and leave, because we cannot have uh, uh, complaining on the same things day in, day out, Mr. Speaker. You know, today someone goes to my hospital, you're being called, you know, I am here, I'm queuing, I'm here since 3 p.m., it is 7 p.m. Mr. Speaker, imagine, three weeks ago, I was called at 7 p.m., and I lost this patient. Allow me to report again. This mama was transferred from another uh, private hospital in Voi back to Moy Hospital. Yes, she was a cancer patient. I don't deny that. But she, she, she arrived at Moy Hospital at 3 p.m. By the time I was called for intervention again, it was 7 p.m. She was at the queue. She has not been attended. This patient could not breathe well. And I, I, I arrived at Moy Hospital. I started, you know, engaging the attendants. Mr. Speaker, I was, it was really sad to see that, um, you know, the, the, the attendants are just, um, you know, it, to them it is something normal. You know, when a patient comes and you're not breathing well, we will still serve you. Uh, the, 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 the tests were done uh, three days, and uh, three days ago, and uh, no response was given to the patient. So I was asking, when was this test done? It was done on, I don't know, Wednesday, and, and, and we are on Sunday. So I was asking, what has happened? Our machine's not working. You know, we went to the CT scan and we found the officer there, you know, uh, seated in, 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 this, in this kind of a chair, you know, rolling around. And I asked him, when did you receive reports or, or inquiries? Or when did you receive instructions to give tests for this patient? And he rudely answered, you know, he was, he was not even cooperative until I told him, boss, you received this information uh, for this patient on Tuesday. Today is on a Sunday. It is 7 p.m. 
Does it mean that uh, you cannot give us answers for this patient? He told me that the doctor has not read uh, uh, what, what the lab, uh, the lab uh, person has given. And so, uh, you know, we can't just give a report. And I asked, where is this person? And why are we having uh, someone reading results for patient through an email? You know, is, is, there, is this person not, is he a consultant or is a staff of the county government? I was never given answers, but eventually I was given the answers. Mr. Chairman, uh, or rather Mr. Speaker, sadly, I left my hospital at midnight. And uh, there was a lot of delays in every department. The X-ray officer was supposed to report at 6 p.m. By 9 p.m., the X-ray officer was not in the station. When he was called, and by the time they realized that I'm an MCA, I saw people running like mad people because they have realized that there is an MCA here, so we, we, we have to do something, otherwise we're exposing ourselves. Then I asked myself, suppose an MCA has not gone to my hospital to assist. And when some of the officers were called by Waziri, one of the officers answered Waziri in a very rude way. I don't know whether he, he thought maybe it is Amzeo um, Akijiji trying to reach out to her, but the attitude, the attitude, the kind of service delivery, Mr. Speaker, it is wanting. In fact, my hospital is becoming a den or a place where it looks like a suicidal place. You know, if you go there, you either come out either frustrated or dead. Those are two things. You will not come out with sufficient answers. The drugs are not there. The governor is always telling us he has paid the pending bill for, 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 for to cancer. And now there are no drugs. I told my, my, my attendants in the ward, can you make a request? Because Waziri advised me, tell them to make a, a cancer request. But up to date, I don't know where that request has disappeared to. I don't know. And I don't know who is holding these requests. But any time pending bills are paid for drugs, we are not seeing the actualization or the supply of drugs to our health centers. Mr. Speaker, I would kindly wish the chair help to give us answers. Seven days, for me, I feel it is too long, and we are losing lives. I don't know what he's going to do, but because he's a bright man again, I believe that he's going to do something great in favor of the citizens of Taita Taveta County. And again, Mr. Speaker, I want to, re to retaliate that if someone is not ready to work with us, if someone is not ready to work in the county government of Taita Taveta, please, look for an exit we are not going to entertain such of such kind of attitude health is devolved and there is no way mr speaker we cannot keep on losing lives uh, carelessly or in a manner which cannot be explained otherwise one day this house will find ourselves in the wrong hands we may be told that we are also ignorant. And Mr. Speaker, I don't want to be an MCA who just comes to the floor to earn salaries. I want to deliver my, 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 my responsibilities as required. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir.